Hey guys, hope you're all well. Right, today I'm going to start the GS again. I'll get back on that. I've had a delivery of a product I want to try out on it and share with you guys. It may be of some use, I don't know. And clean this place up. Because I can't work in this. Doing the KTM, it turned into a bit of a bomb site. Look. <laughs> There's stuff absolutely everywhere. So, we've got to get that cleaned up first. I'm going to see how the KTM starts. Obviously, it had a bit of a run. I will say, it seems to have a bit of an oil leak that it didn't have before. So, I've got to investigate that. Not today. I'm going to do that in one of my spare time moments over the weekend. Probably this Sunday or something like that. Hopefully, it's from something that can be fixed easy. So, we'll sort that out. But I'm going to see how it starts. So, this is stone cold. Been left overnight. I'm going to try it with no choke, no throttle, because I think I've got the tick over set about right. Let's see if it fires up. Let's give it a go. Please start. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't. So how it was, that's brilliant. There's one other issue with it. I don't seem to have a back light. But I know it's all wired incorrectly, it may be just the ball. So I'll have a look at that. But we're about there. Right, I'm gonna kick it outside and get this shed cleaned up. And then we'll have a go with uh, what's just turned up it's for the GS and I'm hoping it's okay right let's get cleaned up quick clean up done so what I'm going to try and achieve today is the rear caliper for the GS now I've got hiccups <laughs> previously if I can get through this without hiccuping no, I can't. <laughs> Previously, someone at some point has painted these in a bit of a bad way. So I've now got them soaking, <laughs> damn my cups, in thinners. I've pulled the pistons out. I was kind of hoping these would be okay. It's me. Of course they're not okay. They've had it. So I've got to order some pistons. At the end of the day, they're the brakes. We can't mess about with them. They've got to be right. Bottom line, you're messing with someone's life, not doing the brakes properly. So new pistons will be ordered. As you can see, with the rubbish GoPro close up, they are pitted quite badly. And at some point over the years, get it in shot, come on. They have been butchered. Now, obviously, this is people putting levers in the caliper to push the best pistons back to replace brake pads. Not a good idea putting stuff in there that damages everything. Obviously, that could tear the dust shields as well. So, yeah. We'll get some of them ordered today. And also new seals and everything we need to rebuild these so they are 100% tip top. Anyway, I've got them soaking in thinners and it seems to be working. Obviously they're not gonna hurt anything. All the seals are getting replaced and everything. It's just removing the paint that someone had previously done. And it seems to be coming off while I've been cleaning. I've been giving them a scrape with the old wire brush and it's all coming off. 
So I'll keep at that, keep getting the remnants of paint off till we've down to bare alloy. Now that one's just falling off, everything's falling off that one, which is brilliant. That's good. Get back in. Right, so what I'm going to try, I've never tried this stuff before, and <clears throat> we'll see if it's any good. So I've got, some of you may have tried it, a couple of cans. Oh, that's packed well. Let's just tear it open. Of caliper spray. <clears throat> Thunder grey. It's like a gunmetal metallic grey, I do believe. Professional customising paint. <laughs> we'll see. Heat resistant, long lasting finish, rapid drying, that's a good thing. No primer required. So, we'll give this a go. I'll be the guinea pig to see if it's all right for you guys. If it's any good, we'll soon find out. If it's not, we'll soon find out. So as soon as I've got all the old paint off these, we'll get it all prepared. Oh, it's blue. Hello, mate. You're back again. Wow. You tell the, the warmer weather's sort of on the way. Come here, mate. Everyone wants to say hello to Blue. <clears throat> Better than listening to me hiccuping all the time. You're all right, old boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, playing, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Bless you. <laughs> Hiccup. Come here, come here. <laughs> it's a good lad. Good boy. Right, where were we? Right, we got a few awkward tight spots on this, so broke out the Dremel. So I've got this set to a really low speed because these little wire brushes don't normally like the high speed setting and sort of obliterate themselves in seconds. So let's have a go at this. Hopefully we'll get in everywhere. Oh yes, that's doing it. Definitely. I got blue back again. You're out there, mate. Is it getting the shed season back for bluey, eh? <laughs> well, I'm actually going to give that another soak. Some of it is still bonded well but it's getting there that's definitely working give that a bit more of a soak let's have a look at the other one that is definitely just all falling off let's have a look nice that's coming off a tree Another soak. Where's the off button gone? 
there. Yeah. We'll keep working at it till we've got the surface perfect. Right, we're all ready for painting. We'll have a look in a minute. All masked up, all clean. I'm ready to try this stuff out. Glasses. See if it makes me look intelligent. No, that's not worked, has it? Anyway, what we got here? Instructions for use. Shake it for three minutes till all your balls can be heard. Surely that's instructions for something else. I may have messed about with the words there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Before application until all the shake balls can be heard moving freely inside. I've been rattling me can, so we should be all right with that. Make uh, sure to mask all the surrounding components. We've done that. Well, not surrounding components because we're not spraying it on the bike because that'd be a stupid idea. Do not paint onto moving parts or friction elements and cables. So, high gloss finish and resistant to chemicals and easy to clean. Heat resistant, long lasting finish, rapid drying, and then over the other side, can be painted over with itself after six hours. That's not rapid drying in my book. <laughs> anyway, we've got plenty of time before these get bolted onto the bike anyway, so it doesn't matter. Can be painted over itself after six hours. Right, let's see how the first coat goes, shall we? Hopefully, This stuff is going to look all right. Let's take them off now. Let's have a look. So we're all nice and clean. Obviously I'll be getting new bullied nipples. So I've basically used that to block threads up so we don't paint the threads. Put bolts in here. So we don't paint the threads there and uh, there. So all the important surfaces are masked up on both of them. So we should be ready to go. I'm only going to flash over them and then I'm going to put the camera away so we don't end up painting it. So we'll just be fucking actually be sort of useful with the camera and get things in shot. <laughs> so I'm trying to watch the paint and watch what I'm doing through the camera. Yeah, I'll get on and do that. Cover the camera up because I don't particularly want to paint it. I'll be back to show you the results. Let's cover you all up. And we're sorted. How about I give you a fright? <laughs> Definitely pleased with that finish. It actually goes on really nice. So, let's have a look, because I know some of you will ask. So there we go, that's what it is. They do it in several different colours. It's the first time I've ever tried it. It's supposed to be 
resistant with chemicals and stuff so i'm guessing that means brake fluid as well well you would think so wouldn't you no that's uh, it goes on nice very nice we'll see when it's gone off completely so what i'm going to do probably now probably not right now i'm going to wait for this to go off is do the inner ring on the disc as well in that color just so it's got a bit of a match up so i'll get that all that masked off and do that as well okay carefully get this masked up i'll do this with uh, fine line tape this is 3m fine line tape i have tried other stuff in the past and it's nowhere near as good as this so i always use the 3m stuff it's a lot better so let's see if we can do a tidy circle <laughs> all that masked off so I've just had the heater running for a bit get a bit of temperature up in here and we'll get all that uh, painted up with the same stuff see how that goes I think it'll be all right I think it's gonna look quite neat and tidy right moving on the disc is all painted it's come out really well actually again it, oh, I like that paint it's really really nice to use so we've got the inner ring there painted we've got the outer bit painted here and we've got the inside painted it just makes it nice and presentable and obviously it'll match in with the calipers when it's all together so yeah that's come out really well it's all cleaned up nice the calipers obviously they've come out really nice yeah definitely definitely impressed with that paint it's just really really nice to use definitely use that Ugh, i've got hiccups again deep breaths i'll definitely use that again <laughs> right i've got the front calipers here all ready to strip out check over we'll again we'll replace the seals in them we'll see what the pistons are like and so on get them all stripped out i'm going to take measurements of all the fixings replace all them for nice new shiny ones unless they're stainless and i can polish them oh no i don't think they are we'll check it out when i strip them out so yeah i'll get all the measurements same with them they're going to have all new fixings and obviously they're having new pistons because these are absolutely done just not worth the risk putting anything like that back in they're already ordered so they will be here very very soon <sighs> deep breath <laughs> i can't stop it up in <coughs> right <laughs> we've had new ht leads the old ones have gone very hard and brittle so yeah we ripped them out replace them for nice new nice soft rubber ones we got new spark plug caps in black ngk the old ones 
Oh, that brown colour. They're all well and good on, you know, the right bike that suits them. But I just thought uh, they'd look a lot better in black. So that's all that's sorted. Still got the other two to put on the other side. Oh, what else we got? Oh, we got the oil filter in. That's all sorted. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, we got the fixings for this. That's all on properly now. I've just... Oh, hiccups. I just removed the, 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 the brain plug. Brain plug? What's a brain plug? Drain plug. <laughs> I could do with a brain plug. No, I don't want the other plug. You, you keep that yourself. <laughs> brain plug. What an idiot. So, yeah, I've removed that because I did spray it with that in just so we didn't get any dirt and paint all on the inside of it. I was surprised when I took that off, it didn't have a, a washer on there. No fibre washer or copper washer. So I've got a copper washer that fits perfect. So we'll put that back in. With that on, stop it up in. <laughs> right, let's <laughs> carry on. <coughs> Did I mention the wiring? Oh, I don't know. Too busy hiccuping. So I've got the old harness down here, hanging up on the floor. So I'm going to pick through that, see what I can salvage. Obviously, there is some bits on there that have got to go on the bike, like the, uh, the what's the in there for the starter motor. Uh, I think pretty much most of that will be scrapped and I will start it all with brand new wires, especially using that nice M unit. I, you know, I ain't gonna use all this dirty stuff, but maybe some things like the, the main battery leads, if it cleans up, I'll use that. I'll just see. I'll see how good it is first before I decide if I'm gonna use anything in there or not. It'd be mainly uh, the, the running the sparky side of things that I'll salvage out of that and the rest of it the stuff like for the lights on and so on will be all brand new stuff and I'm going to try well I'm not going to try I'm going to do because as you know everything's in the tail unit with the M unit and everything everything's going to come out of there so I'm actually going to put it on plugs like so so the, the actual back end can be unplugged with all the wires if it ever needs removing. I don't want to just run constant wires from like back to front or anything. It'd be nice if it all unplugs. Any future maintenance, it'll make things a lot easier. And I'll get some good quality plugs. This is a good one. I know you can get them little like plastic trays with the, the white plugs in. I, I, I've tried them before. They are rubbish, absolute rubbish. So this one, as actually comes with seals and everything it's all waterproof so i shall probably try and go through my um, purchase history and see where i got this from and get a few more so yeah i'll say the back end can completely unplug then if there's ever a problem so i think that's about where we are today <clears throat> today i'm going for our dinner with Tracy's gran evening dinner around Tracy's grands we do that once a week so that's happening tonight so I'm just going to get quite a few things laid out so when I come back it'll be all quiet stuff and I can get on with it like stripping the calipers out and stuff like that just keep it rolling keep it rolling I know I've, I've done the KTM but that's a must I've had to do that because it's got to go to keep things rolling so i i kept putting that off and putting that off and i thought you know what i've just got to get on and do it it's not a massive job so at least all that's sorted now so next on this i think next video we'll probably start dipping into the wiring it needs doing so and I, obviously i think i mentioned before i want to do it before too much goes on the bike get everything ready the wheels and everything like that front end so when the wiring is done literally half a day and the bike will be in one piece 
and then it'd be just a case of going over everything, double check in, triple check in, and then the exciting dreaded startup. Oh, obviously got to put oils in and things like that. So we're moving along, it's ticking away nicely. And yeah, it feels good. I'm, I'm proper pleased with it, I really am. And yeah, it's looking good. And thank you all so much for the comments. It's much appreciated. It really is. I know I haven't been through every single one yet because I'm sort of darting about trying to do so much at the moment. Uh, main thing is is to keep the GS rolling so I do eventually go through I know I've explained before but I really appreciate the comments it seems like a lot of you are enjoying how it's coming on which is brilliant I know it's not everyone's cup of tea and the way I do things is not everyone's cup of tea but hey you can't please everybody it's impossible isn't it it's impossible but the main thing is we're plodding along and it's getting done and it feels good so yeah, I think tonight after dinner around Tracy's grands, I'm either going to pull the harness apart or start pulling them calipers apart and get them painted the same as these ones. I think they look much better in that colour. I can't understand why people write on them. L. Mmm, wonder what that means. <laughs> So yeah, they should tidy up all right, actually. I'll probably find that that gold won't come off. I'm guessing it's like a Cerakote or something. I could be wrong. I'll still wash them out with all the thinners, remove all the seals and everything. Let's see how that goes. If not, I'll just sort of rub over the surface with some scotch bright and just get the paint on. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how that's come out. And it's not the cheesy colour like bright red. I get the gold's great if it's got Brembo down them. <laughs> Brilliant. But they ain't, so that gold's going. We'll go for that more subtle option of the grey. Thunder grey, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, thunder grey. Nice. <coughs> Quite impressed with that. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to continue getting things ready. So after dinner, I can come back up here and basically continue. Keep going. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. Take care.